linguistic approach to English grammar. In this video, we're going to talk about demonstratives, specifically their use as determiners. So, demonstratives refer to nouns that are near in either space or time. So it's easy to illustrate the cases where things are near in space, but not so much in time because we cannot draw a picture of that. But because these are determiners in this case, this means that they occur before some noun that they modify. So they're part of the same noun phrase, for instance, this car. We could have a case where, say, you are standing right here, and because we're talking about this car, uh, the car that we're talking about should be relatively close to the speaker, so right beside it. If we use a word like that car, then again, that is describing the type of car we have, so it's acting as a determiner for the noun, and we should have some sort of distance between the car and the person we're talking about, or sorry, between us and the car that we're talking about. So uh, the difference between this and that is either a closeness or furtherness in space or time. So these are our singular demonstratives. So when we say this car or that car, we're talking about one particular thing, but we have plural versions of these two. So we have these cars and those cars. Now again, these are determiners because these is talking about the cars. And as we see here, uh, these is just this plus the plural on it. So instead of having one car that's close to you with this car, we have multiple cars that are close to you. When we say those cars, it's the word that plus the plural. So those cars, again, we see some distance between the person and the cars they're talking about. And because we use the word those, we know that there are more than one of the cars over there. So those are the four demonstratives we have in English. There are no more demonstratives, just those four. So we can use the demonstratives to do different things. And I'm going to try to have these examples focus more on time because I think the spatial ones are quite easy compared to the time ones. So when we use past events, we use uh, the distant one like that or those. So things that are far away in time. So we can say, remember that time you wet the bed? So we're talking about a distant time. So not distant in space, but distant in, you know, the projection of the universe with the temporal dimension. I don't know how many different ways I could describe it, so time is time. Uh, but remember that time, so remember previously, far away from us, when you used to wet the bed? Or back in those days, remember those is the same as that, but plural. So those days, these days are in the past, way behind us. Uh, remember back in those days, we walked uphill in the snow both ways to school. So again, we have a distance between now and the days that we're talking about. If we use a demonstrative to talk about ongoing or current events, typically we use this or these. So when I say, I will get an A this time, well, I'm talking about this instance or this next instance that is very close in time. So uh, when we say this time, we're talking about some sort of closeness or some sort of uh, currentness. If it was really far away, we might say next time and use uh, not a demonstrative in that case. Or if we say kids sure are spoiled these days. So when we say these days, Imagine that we're here, so this is now, if we go to the left, we go to the past, and if we go to the right, we go to the future. In this case, when we say these days, we're really talking about a brief period of time that spans over now. So this is what's called an ongoing event, and these days is referring to now, maybe sometime close in the past, maybe sometime close in the future, but it's an ongoing thing. If you're giving someone a command, like a kid who's done something wrong, you might say, come here right this minute, brat. So of course, this minute 
uh, basically what you're trying to say here is now. So the current minute we're in, you come here. You might even say come here right now, the second breath. So we'll use this or these for current or ongoing events. We might even use it in events that are upcoming and very close. So what do these look like in trees? Well, this looks just like our definite article and our indefinite article, but instead of calling them indef or def art, uh, we call them demon. So short for demonstratives. Demon is just a fun way to put it. It's super fun. It's as fun as grammar gets. Oh, you can hear the sarcasm through my voice. Grammar is interesting. So we have to take some time to make the labels a little bit more fun for people who are not as interested in it as, say, someone like me. So what I have here is I've labeled this as a determiner. So when I put the colon debt, what I mean here is that it functions as a determiner because it comes before a noun. So this event, we're specifying which event we're talking about. In the case of these drawings, we're specifying which drawings we're talking about. So that is why we say these function as a determiner. Because we do have the case of demonstrative pronouns, which we'll cover in a future videos, if we just say these, those, this, that on its own. And that would be a demonstrative functioning as a head rather than a determiner. So the other two examples I have here are that butler. So again, we're specifying which butler we're talking about, or say those vegetables. This demonstrative determiner is specifying which vegetables we're talking about. So in a tree, they look just like all of our other determiners. So this is a different sort of exercise here. Typically I have the exercises uh, contained to within just one video, but in this one I am containing it in playlist order. So there is a playlist on my channel, The Trev Tutor on YouTube. If you've been following the playlist, this exercise should be doable. So our job here is to label the category of each word and then to find all of our noun phrases. So let's do that. You can pause the video and try yourself, or we can just go straight into it. So this teenager sent the professor a very angry email. Why don't I start by finding the noun phrases first? So here I have a noun phrase, this teenager. So I'm talking about a specific teenager. I sent the professor something. So the professor is another noun phrase that we're talking about. So that's another thing in the world. And lastly, a very angry email is our final noun phrase here. So let's label the categories inside, and we should see that each of these noun phrases contains exactly one noun. So, okay, this teenager, well, this is a demonstrative, and it's acting as a determiner, so I'm going to write that in. Of course, you don't have to. You just have to know it's a demonstrative. A teenager is a noun. Okay, so if we were to think about how this tree would look, it'd be a demonstrative and a noun. Uh, coming together to form a noun phrase. Okay, the next one, sent. Well, sent is an action word. It is a verb. You can see it's in past tense. So verbs take a past tense, so we have sent. Now we have the professor, so the. This is our definite article, so it points out a specific and unique noun. So in this case, the professor, the professor, so professor being the noun, the professor is pointing out a specific professor in the world. Now we have a very angry email. Well, uh, this is an indefinite article. So this doesn't say a particular email. This just says some email out there. We don't care which one. It's a non-specific email. Uh, email is the thing we're talking about. So this will be a noun. And then we have very angry. So this unit as a whole this is an adjective phrase that is describing email. So angry is the head adjective of this adjective phrase. And what is very doing? Very is telling us how angry something is. So when we have this particular type of adverb giving information about how adjective something is or how verb something is or how adverb something is, uh, these are what are called our degree words, so our degree adverbs, and I label these as degrees. So if you've been following along in the playlist so far, this activity should have been something that you could do. But as always, if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below, 